Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be about us doing a room makeover. And here's just a little slideshow of you guys seeing what I had before and what we ended up doing to the room. So I just want to say if you guys are new to the video, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on that notification button so you don't miss any more because we have more videos coming. So I hope you guys enjoy. So right here I went ahead and got some nightstands from Amazon. I wanted more of a modern look with a little bit of gold and I was searching through Amazon and this came in and I thought it was the perfect fit for my room. If you guys are interested, again I got it on Amazon. The set for like $200, they are a lot smaller than I usually had but it fit perfectly in that space that I needed to between the wall and my bed. And you can see right here, I went ahead and took the jewelry or the knobs off of the dresser that I put my girls clothes in. They are currently silver. And again, we were going from the silver to the gold. So I got some spray paint from Home Depot and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray all the silver in my room and turn it into gold, which let me tell you, a lifesaver. I, I'm not really, I've noticed that I'm not a silver person. I'm more of a gold person. I also took the mirrors that were behind my dressers and I spray painted them gold as well with the same spray paints. I did get these mirrors from Walmart about three years ago when I redid my room to the silver look. Let me just say though, these are not the mirrors I currently want. Just, I want to get bigger ones, but I have to do with what I have. And I didn't want to spend too much money right now, so I just decided why not just spray them gold and then go from there. So I will be switching these out in the future. I just wasn't able to find anything because my Rosses and the TJ Maxxes and everything in my neighborhood is like limited on things because of this whole COVID stuff. So stay tuned, I will be changing that as well. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I had a hard time trying to find a rug. I did find this rug at Home Depot. It fits exactly what I'm looking for. It has the silvers, a little bit of the gold touches in it. It fits my room perfectly, so we went ahead and just picked this up. And we, I tried so hard for my husband to switch my room around with the layout. And we did put it in different locations and see what fits. Unfortunately, with the way my room is laid out and the furniture that I currently have, this was the best option for us. So we went ahead and just left it in the original layout just because it was more convenient for everything we were trying to do. And for anybody that's asking, I got my bed at Jerome's, but I think you can find it on Amazon as well. So this is the first look I ended up going with. So I have a vision in my head. I just don't know how to put it together. I'm that type of girl that I have to physically see it to know what I need to do. So I went to Dee Dee's and I picked up so much stuff. I got two different sets of curtains. I got a bunch of different pillows. I got two blankets. I got some flowers and accessories and I just picked up everything that I thought that might work and you can see I took the rest of the day this day trying to figure it out my mother-in-law you can see is still trying to help me we ended up 
calling it a night. We ended up going to Hobby Lobby and picking up some different stuff because I just was not happy with the way it was coming out. So stay tuned for that. And here was a fun moment in the day. My husband decided to leave me when my dressers came in to go get a haircut and thought it was so funny that I said I was gonna put them together by myself because he doesn't believe I can do anything without him for some reason. So yes, girls, I ended up putting the first nightstand together by myself, no help. And I told him here, here's the second one, you go ahead and put it together. You can see how I am actually having to show my husband how to do it because he cannot figure it out. So we were having a funny moment where I was just teasing him because he legit kept saying he didn't need help and then needing help because I did not want him to put that whole thing together and then have to take it apart because he missed a step. So heads up ladies, if you get these dressers, yes, you can put them together yourself. You don't need no help. Just read the directions. That is my advice. And right here, I went. I had my husband put up all the little pictures in the room. I didn't have pictures in the room before, so I just took some of the old stuff that I had around the house and put them in the room right there. That picture he got me from Hobby Lobby about three years ago. I love it. And then I had him go ahead and put a picture on the other side. I'm sorry it's dark for some reason. I just, my camera does not like this angle. Then I had him go ahead and spray the silver on my desk into gold with the same spray paint. I love it. I love it. Let me tell you, I have learned that I am not a silver person. I'm hands down gold all the way. So this is ending up to be the next day. We went to Hobby Lobby, like I said, and I picked up some different stuff. So this is what I currently have. This is what the room is going to look like. And it's not going to be like this forever. I'm actually going to go with my sister-in-law to um, home goods because all the Rosses and everything around me don't have what I'm looking for. They don't have the pillows I want. They don't, I just, it's so hard. So this is currently what I have you guys. It's not what it's gonna stay. So this is just gonna be part one of my room makeover because this is not my vision. But I do love the difference. So right now, this is just a huge difference going from the silvers to the golds and everything in my room. I will say, hands down, it has inspired me to keep moving with it because I love the way it's just coming out. I had to move the dressers closer to my bed because we couldn't even turn on the lamps, but I love it. I love the mirror stuff as well. I got myself a little decor for my nightstands, the Mr. and Mrs. Those are cute. Hobby Lobby, you guys, Hobby Lobby. So that came in handy. Oh my God, hiding my husband's mess was a challenge. Oh, look at my cute little blue. I love that little stool. Got that from Ross yesterday. It was the only one there. Thank God I had blue in my room. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you stay tuned for part two because this is not the way it's gonna stay. I am definitely going to do more stuff because it's not exactly what I wanted, but a huge difference. Please go ahead and comment what you guys think. I hope you enjoy again, and I will see you on the next video. I love you guys.